Welcome to a beautiful winter's morning here in Long Melford. Today I'm going to be doing a four and a half mile walk that takes in Liston Mill and also the amazing Melford Walk. This excellent short route to the Melford Walk starts off at the free car park close to the village green and follows a footpath away from Melford Hall and across fields to arrive at the River Stour by open grazing marshland. The route passes the Grade 2 listed Liston Mill and heads down the main road into Melford to pick up the Melford Walk, which follows the bed of the old railway for almost a mile before heading back to the car park via Chadbrook. It's a cold winter's day here at Long Melford in Suffolk, and I'm at the free car park at the very start of this interesting route around the village, which takes in the Melford Walk. The free car park sits directly opposite Melford Hall and follows a footpath west away from the road. Melford Hall is owned and managed by the National Trust and dates back to the 16th century and incorporates an older medieval building held by the abbots of Bury St Edmunds which was in use before 1065. Just to the north and sitting up on a small hill is the Holy Trinity Church, a Grade 1 listed building dating to 1467 and one of the grandest churches in the county. The route continues to head west before crossing a large open field heading towards Chadbrook and the nearby allotments. After crossing Chadbrook, the path turns right and heads around the nearby football field to enter open grazing pastures. These fields are used for grazing cattle in the warmer months and continue up to the River Stour. The river forms the boundary to the neighbouring county of Essex, which is briefly walked in before returning back into Suffolk further ahead. The river at this time of year is a tranquil and relaxing place to be, with the trees and bushes alive with birds foraging for food during these cold months. Liston Weir is crossed which marks the change of counties and located just behind is Liston Mill. Cladded in beautiful white wood panels, the mill dates back to 1797 and has a Grade 2 listing. After passing along the southern part of the village of Long Melford, the route joins the Melford Walk. The walk follows almost a mile of the old railway track bed northeast, which would have once taken the traveller onto Lavenham. The route is now open to walkers and is a remarkably quiet area, even though it sits close to the bustling village centre. The railway line, which was opened in 1865, sadly closed to passengers in 1961, but continued use for a further four years for freight services, before being completely closed in 1965, marking its 100th anniversary. The line which once rumbled with the sound of passenger and freight trains now lies peaceful and unspoiled, with nature slowly reclaiming what was once taken. Shortly after the second railway bridge, a turn left leads past a new housing estate and up to the top of the bridge and a turn right leads you down to Bull Lane. Bull Lane is followed west for just a few hundred metres to pick up a grassy path behind the nearby houses along the trickling waters of Chadbrook. The weir along Chad Brook artificially raises the water level, 
creating a pond higher up the brook and supporting local wildlife including kingfishers and grey herons. The route continues along and crosses Chad Brook via a narrow brick footbridge before returning to the car park along the front of Melford Hall.